Today is Giving Tuesday. It's a global generosity movement to help the organizations that work to make our communities better. Its launch coincides with the tremendous needs caused by the worldwide pandemic. And tonight, Meg Ferris found two families brought together and forever changed by one of those nonprofit groups. And then the coronavirus changed things even more. For years, volunteers with Heart Gift have been saving the lives of very sick children. They bring impoverished children in from around the world who have heart defects. Doctors at Children's Hospital make them whole, something unheard of in their countries. Six-year-old Yana from the Philippines was born with four heart defects. She is another Heart Gift success story, but the coronavirus changed everyone's plans. And then when I saw her picture, I was like, Oh my God, like this little child. John and Yaelene Gaffney volunteered to be the host family for Yana and her mom, Maria Ruby. Yaelene is from the same island, so they speak the same language. So the Gaffneys took them into their Covington home in early February. Stephanie Baralt with Heart Gifts says first they had to be quarantined after flying through South Korea to get here. She was weak, she was frail, she uh, was frequently blue. She knew that she looked different than other children and she knew that she couldn't do things that other children could do. Over the next several weeks, surgeons fixed her heart. Yana and her mom headed home. They made it as far as Los Angeles and got stuck for 24 hours. And we got the call in the middle of the night that they were not letting her board the plane because Hong Kong had shut off through traffic. The Gaffneys again opened their arms, hearts, and home and said, come on back. It was quite harrowing at the time, but we're very happy they were able to make it back safely. Yana's young mother gestures how she carried Yana in her arms, walking to her school. Each trip took 30 minutes. Yana too weak to make it on her own. Now she smiles, as any mother would, that her precious daughter will live a normal life. Yaelene is a photographer and has already had a tremendous influence. Watch Yana use her fingers to see what the camera lens sees. She's now learning English and is a ball of energy. Something tells me that when it is time for them to leave, you're going to miss them. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, we all, like when they left, uh, the first time they tried to go back home, it was, we were very sad. And right. then when they said that they didn't make it, and I was like, yay, they're back. And now considered family. Meg Farris, Eyewitness News.